Good morning, everyone. Michael the Maven, and today I'm going to answer a question that we got from a specific viewer in regards to the 18 to 55 Fuji kit lens as it compares to the 16 to 55 2.8 XF Pro. When I first got my X-T2, which was the first Fuji camera that I got, I got it with the kit lens. I wasn't overly impressed with it. And so what happened was I sold it, bought a 16 to 55, and after a certain amount of time, I regretted selling the kit lens. And so today I wanna to point out some of the specific reasons that this is one kit lens that I think you should hang on to, even if you upgrade with other lenses, even if you have a 16 to 55. And so we did this wide angle lens comparison last week. We did the, the eight to 16 2.8 versus the 10 to 24 F4. If you haven't seen it, check it out because the question of T stops comes up which has to do with the amount of light that actually makes it through the lens. An f-stop is a ratio, a t-stop is the brightness of the exposure. And because we have 17 lens elements versus 14 lens elements, and you can also see that they're much different in size, the question was how much light actually makes it to the other side on the smaller lens. So let me walk you through that test real quick. So I really like the histogram test with the 18% gray card simply because this is an easy test that you can do on your own if you have access to both of the lenses. On the far left, we have the different samples taken with each lens. This one here, A, is the XF Pro. It's the 16 to 55 at 18.2 millimeters. I could not get it to focus at 18 millimeters even. And then we have the kit lens at 18 millimeters even. And if you look on the, on the far right, we've got the histogram with the EXIF data. We're at 2.8, 150th of a second, ISO 400 for both. And so what we're looking for as we shift back and forth, it's very easy to see even the luminance difference on this white background between the two. And then if we look at the histogram shift, look at the exposure difference. So the large peak is the white background, the small peak is the gray card. And just bouncing back and forth between those two, it's easily half a stop, maybe more. And so what this is suggesting is that the kit lens at 18 millimeters, 2.8, is brighter than the 16 to 55, 2.8 at 18 millimeters. So on the wide end, pretty conclusive that that kit lens is brighter. Now, something I have to point out is that the sharpness is definitely better in the 16 to 55. It's not even close. It's a far sharper lens, but I like pointing out these differences in the tools because now you know some strengths and weaknesses. If you're if you're out and about carrying a lens for a long time and you know it's going to be handheld and maybe it's going to be a little bit darker, that kit lens makes a lot of sense. If you're going to be locked down on a tripod, you know, you know and and you don't need that handheld extra brightness, then maybe you want to go with the 16 to 55. And this gives you some ideas in terms of how to use these tools a little bit more towards their strengths. Something else I wanted to do is to check out on the far end, the telephoto end, 55 millimeters at F4 for both of them. And going back and forth, it's interesting. I could not get them to line up perfectly. There's a, some kind of a shift in the XF Pro lens for some reason. But if you look at the difference at 55 millimeters, the brightness is much closer, even looking at the histogram shift in the top right-hand corner, it's almost the same. And to throw it into the mix, I also included the 56 millimeter 1.2 at F4, and we can see that it is, it is brighter. Fewer elements in that lens, 11 elements. And so that's a 1.2 lens, clearly, you know, you're gonna take advantage of that. But this just goes back to show that T-stops are a real thing. The number of elements that we see in these lenses do affect the luminance hitting the sensor, and that is something to keep in mind. So the point that I'm trying to make to my Fuji students is that the kit lens makes a lot of sense to hang on to for its size, for its weight, for its optical image stabilization, for the fact that it's brighter at 2.8 when we're shooting at 18 millimeters, even compared to the XF Pro, there are some reasons why this has some advantages. It's, do, it's definitely not sharper. The, uh, this lens is amazing in terms of sharpness, in terms of performance, put it on a gimbal, it's crazy. 
For video shooting, this is the lens that I go to, but I'm often on a tripod. So I have different reasons for using these two lenses for different situations. And I can't say that about other kit lenses. So the take home message is, this should be your first lens if you're a Fuji shooter, the 18 to 55 kit lens. I think this is probably the second lens you should get. It's a phenomenal value. It's a really do it all. You can shoot professionally with it. Landscapes, portrait on the long end, really great on a gimbal, amazing uses, but I still have reasons to use the little guy. In any event, there is the test. It is brighter on the wide end. They're closer on the telephoto end. If you're struggling to learn your Fuji X-T2 or X-T3, check out my crash courses on both of them. I'd love to hear any questions that you guys have that you want me to answer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.